Hi everybody, today I thought I'd do something just a little bit different uh, as my channel already has Hi-Fi in its title um, I thought I'd just show you my, what, what I've got, what I used to replay my music Now, I have had, apologies for the shaking and the juddering I really need like a, a steady cam mount or something But what you're looking at here is my, uh, you know, brand new, I've only had it about a week Technics SL1210 GR turntable uh, let me just lift the lid up for you. Lovely bit of kit. Um, previous to that I had a Technics SL1210 Mark II. And that died on me uh, two weeks ago. So it was imperative I got myself a new turntable. At the moment, as you can see, I've got a Audifon 2M Red. Which is struggling to... Coming to focus, so I do apologise for that. Um, it's okay, the, the 2M Red's okay, um, but I am going to ignore the blues and the bronzes, uh, etc. I'm going to go straight for the 2M Black after this, so I can get the most out of this superb TT. Uh, just pull away a bit. It's actually like I've got giant hands there, and I actually haven't. You know, they're just standard hands, you know. I wouldn't be without them, but uh, they are just standard hands. Uh, great turntable. Uh, well, a couple of differences. I mean, you've had like 30 years of technology built into it compared to the uh, 1210 Mark IIs. Um, the rubber isn't... It's lovely. It feels lovely. But it's not quite so rubbery as the, as the Mark IIs were. But So it's sort of like more smoother. Uh, more sleek, more sophisticated, more lovely. Uh, let's see now, what else? I, I never use these uh, sliders and whatnot uh, and pitch controls because I'm not a DJ, I'm a hi-fi guy. So I won't be using those. This works a treat. Nice and beautifully slow. Actually, let me just turn the thing on. So you have a on-off control right here, and it lights up blue. Oh, look, set at 33. And uh, eeks, there we go. Isn't that lovely? Hard to see what I'm doing. So obviously I can't play any music on it because um, YouTube will just slap a copyright restriction on it, so. I'm not going to uh, play anything. What I will do is I'll just spin it up. Start, stop, and it's instantly there. And you've got your jukebox adapter right there. Uh, I mean, setting this thing up was an absolute piece of cake, by the way. Absolute piece of cake. Uh, as you can see, I'm still using my original Technics head shell. Is basically uh, unscrew the knurl nut there, pop off the entire thing, and then pop it back on, re screw up on the new one, and you're there, just check for any sort of VTA adjustments. And incidentally, this didn't need any. So, yeah, beautiful. Um, the tone arm is more sleek, and they've abandoned the, uh, the highly chrome polished finish on it which I don't mind at all um, I mean they've gone for this lovely sleeky soft satin aluminium sheen uh, beautiful it is lovely and the nice thing about this TT is that because it's so new literally one week old it smells so new you could it's a, that lovely new smell you know what I mean uh, wonderful and obviously it comes with a lovely lid uh, my little little bubble to house the tone arm. See if I can just do like a cross section for you. Isn't that nice? All right, so moving down um, or across, shall I say rather? Uh, I'm recording this on the, in the downstairs living room, come hi-fi room. Upstairs I have um, a dedicated i7 machine which runs Rune. 
and that keeps all my digital files. Now, uh, where digital is concerned, I quite like MQA, and Rune does what the it's like an origami folding process to get the highest possible sound from a digital file, as long as MQA is employed within that digital file. So Rune does the first unfold, and in my setup upstairs, I have an Audio Quest. Uh, Cobalt Blue DAC, which uh, does the final unfold, and then all that loveliness is sent to this humble thing. Just a little humble uh, iPhone, iPhone 5 SE, that one. Um, apologies for getting my thumb in the way of the camera there. And so, yeah, my high quality digital file is output into my amps, which I'll come to in a tick. But as I go down my stack, I've got my faithful anti-static cleaning brush and I have a nice blu-ray player not 4k but it is a 3d one which I never use and I actually won that in uh, in a raffle at a Sony um, after work sort of um, promotional thing so about 500 of us there I entered into a raffle and I won the flipping thing so that's nice now the player you see below it is what I use to play uh, my SACDs, DVDAs, and standard CDs. It's got to be about 30 years old, 25, 30 years old. Um, I've kept very good uh, care of it, shall we say. So it's even got the original sticker. For HDMI, so I'm so sorry, I can't seem to get this... Uh, video into focus very well today that's a bit better but she's beautiful she sounds great you know all the SACD files sound fantastic um, yeah as, as do my DVDAs and as do my uh, standard CDs going down uh, I've got a little project phono amp which for the money does the job but again, it's something I'll be upgrading in the future. And then below it, I have a, my name NAC82 preamp, which is the second one down from the top in name's olive range. As I was saying, moving down from the NAC82 preamp, uh, ignore the thing up right there for now. Um, moving down is I've got my power amp, which is the NAP250, what they call Chrome Bumper. Uh, it's an earlier edition. I went for that one specifically because it has a better toroidal transformer compared to the standard 250. So it sounds better. Um, what you do see there is the Teddy Pardo Dual cap, which takes the place of two of Name's high caps. Um, again, sounds superb. I had to import that, and the importation tax was disgusting. But again, it's a crucial part of my hi-fi now. Um, going down is just a very boring satellite box, which is very rarely gets used at all. Moving over. Oh, all this is housed in a 30-odd-year-old sound style. Uh, tripod rack by the way uh, under that turntable is the original rubber mat original it's the brand new rubber mat which I haven't put on I'm still using the standard Technics mat uh, which is just like a felt thing which I'll be removing today and I say putting that rubber mat on okay so uh, here it is please ignore the all the mess of cables it needs tidying up and I just never seem to get the chance to actually get around to doing it um, here is the left hand speaker uh, of my Q900 Kef pair um, sounds wonderful um, I got them brand new when they came out uh, from an outgoing Kef rep shall we say an insanely stupid price so uh, yeah Wonderful. What, what should have been a four-figure sum to pay for, I got them for a three-figure sum. Um, very big, well, not that big compared to TVs these days. It's not that old, shall I say, LG TV. Not 4K, but full 1080p. Again, something else which I'll be upgrading at some point. 
And over here, we have my other half of the Kef Q900s. Beautiful speakers. And here is some of my albums. And above it, box sets, of course. Above it, we have some digital stuff and some Blu-rays. And below that bit of vinyl, you've got some more vinyl. We've got a few seven inches and some more albums and some more albums. So I wasn't quite sure what video to, to do today. I thought you've had sort of, you know, about 12 weeks of me doing albums. I thought, well, there is hi-fi in the title, so um, yeah, let's do your hi-fi one today. Now the hi-fi will be pretty much progressing. Turntable stays, brand new, one week old. Um, I've had lots and lots of turntables through the years from LP12s down to dual CS4000s uh, and project debuts. And um, this Technics, the Technics brand direct drive, uh, they're keepers. They really are. Oh, by the way, they, uh, with a new range of Technics turntables, they have ironed out the, the cogging problem that direct drive sometimes suffers from due to the magnets. Um, in saying that, my old SL 1210 Mark II never suffered from that issue. But uh, for Technics turntable users that have that issue, this is the turntable for you. Beautiful. Um, my Blu-ray player may get changed at some point, um, but I'm not one for chasing technologies, really. Uh, as the Sony SACD player shows. The amps are pretty much the top part that I'm willing to go for at this moment in time. You know, I'd, I'd love a, a NAC 52, um, but wow, money-wise, you know, incredible price. And again, the 250 chrome bumper power amp. I think I'm probably going to stay there with it. I probably won't go any higher than that. Um, yep, it's all good. My hi-fi gives me much enjoyment. Uh, absolutely love it. Hi, Iggy. Also. Hi, Iggy. So there we go, guys and gals. Just a very quick walkthrough of my hi-fi. Sans music, because copyright restrictions, etc. So thanks for joining me on this. And uh, I shall see you on the next video. Thanks very much. Cheers now. Bye.